Hey guys, I doing? It's Keptech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over my tech journey from working in fast food restaurant to getting into IT. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Right, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Yeah. So um, if you guys don't know anything about me, and I'm gonna put some pictures here and stuff like that. Um, and for people that are brand new, specifically people that are brand new, my name is Kevin Oponario. I do not have a degree. I have only the CompTIA A plus certification, which is expired. It expired like over five years ago. And um, I started my first job um, working as a field technician. But before I got into the field technician role, um, I actually did, I actually did restaurant experience. I did twelve years of restaurant experience. And you're probably wondering, like, how did he get a job in IT from going from restaurant, fast food, going into tech? Because a lot of people that I know a lot of people that I work with or people that I train, they some of them come from real from from retail, restaurant, fast food, um, construction workers, et cetera, et cetera. Like they work with people, they work with customers, they work with these people, right? So literally the first thing I did when I was brand new to IT, I used my soft skills. So I, a lot of people that are brand new to IT. They don't think they have experience, which is not true. You do have experience. You have experience from your previous jobs. So my job working in a restaurant, I have soft skills. So I I, I leverage my soft skills and I, I transfer that over to IT. So then when I went to the job market and I explained myself, even though I'm not the most technical person in the world, I have the ability to communicate with the customer. I have the ability to talk to the customer. And that's what I portrayed at a hiring manager. So when I when I went and I spoke to my hiring manager, and when he went in, in, to actually go and interview me, I literally sat with him. I'm like, I don't have any technical skills, but I do know how to talk to people. So if the customer gets mad at me or he or she throws a fit, I'm still able to talk to that person. It's way better working in restaurant. Um, it's way better working in restaurant having soft skills than not having any soft skills at all. So then when you go to the job market, you you don't know how to you don't know how to talk to people. So that's why specifically IT support, this is not cybersecurity or sysadmin or anything, specifically IT support, if you work fast food, retail, restaurant, any customer service facing job, it's very useful for you when you go into IT support. So then you're not, you're, it's not as bad when you go and do these jobs. Then you go into IT support, you're handling phone calls, you're handling tickets, you're handling users. It's so much like, it's like not that bad at all. You're like, oh, this isn't that bad. Like, I'd rather do this than go in, into the restaurant and go and be a line cook or work, be a grill person. And actually, like, I have to grill the food and cook the food and stuff like that. And you're sweating all day and there's no AC, no nothing, you know. So it's like working IT is way better than being in restaurants. So that was my number one skill for getting a job in IT was using my soft skills. Number two... At the time when I when I wanted to get into IT, I wanted to, I wanted to see what what was the job market asking for. So it's very important that when you go and look for a job, you figure out the right skills you need to know. So me like fast forwarding, me being in cybersecurity now, me being in IT, I realized that you don't need to have all you don't need to have a thousand certifications. I realized that at the end of the day, is if you have a solid resume. If you have project work, like you have projects that you know how to do and you know how to showcase and you know how to sell that in the job market, you still we still going to get a job in IT regardless of not having a certification. Of course, there are jobs out there that you will be required to have A plus or you'll be required to have security plus or you'll be required to have a certain certification because that specific company wants that certification. So if you need to get a certification, go for it. Does that make sense? The last thing I remember when I first started IT because there's a lot of like a bad information when I first started IT because I went on Reddit and I got like, like I had like a bunch of bad information. Um, and I realized that I had to do research on my own and I had to do things on my own. So I ended up just talking to my friends. If you guys don't know anything about me, my background, but um, at the time we had a thing called Ventrilo and Ventrilo, you download Ventrilo and it's like it's, it's like similar to TeamSpeak or similar to Discord. Basically, this doesn't have video; it's just chat. So I, I was with my veteran buddies and one of them explained to me about the CompTIA A plus and uh, the A plus gets a lot of hate. I know people don't like the A plus, but it's good. It's good to have fundamental knowledge, specifically I'm talking about specifically me coming from a restaurant background. 
and not having any work experience. I don't like zero work experience, and you don't know any of our computers or mouses or keyboards or anything or motherboards or operating systems. I'm always gonna recommend like go learn fundamentals because I don't want you getting messed up. Like when you go to the job market and they ask you these basic questions like what is DNS, what is DCP? Um, tell me the difference between memory RAM and a hard drive. Tell me the difference between a hard drive and SSD. Like when you go to the job market, you're gonna realize that it's not as easy as people make it think, make you think it is, right? So you're like, oh shoot, I don't even know how to, I don't even know how to do that, or I don't know anything about this. So very important that you get fundamental knowledge, whether it's through the CompTIA A plus or going to Professor Mester or Mike or uh, Mike Myers or Jason DeLon or all these other companies that you can think of, like Test Out or whatever. So, or um, you know, IT Pro TV, whatever, whatever works for you. But you want to you want to get fundamental knowledge, right? Then after that, you should be good. So that <clears throat> that's something that I learned like down the line. I learned my lessons in IT is that you. You need to have fundamental knowledge. You need to have a good resume. You need to have a strong LinkedIn. Because back then when I first started, LinkedIn did not exist. Like LinkedIn was literally not there. So it was just like, now you got to have a LinkedIn profile. You actually got to network and talk to people. Before it wasn't like that. And I always tell people, sometimes it's not what you know, it's who you know, right? So if you're watching this video right now and you're thinking about jumping into IT, people are still hiring. The job market is a little rough right now, but people are still hiring. If you're brand new and you have no experience at all you like just like me coming from restaurant experience like literally restaurant experience and you don't know nothing about computers like learn the fundamentals first after that build a home lab after that fix your resume after that fix your linkedin profile and then you start applying for jobs and then you should be good to go after that so those are going to be fundamental knowledge create a plan of action uh learn the basics create a project work uh apply for jobs and then actually when you, when you, this is going to sound really strange as I never talked about this, but when you go and apply for jobs, like you have like an Excel sheet or you have a word document and you, and you put all the jobs you apply for on a word document or an Excel sheet. That way you know that you're not applying for the same job over and over again. But also at the same time, if you go and do a job into you and if you get a job, you go to that same word document or that Excel sheet. You write the feedback they gave you. So then when you go to the next job, you're more prepared. So then you you, you know that you're not gonna they ask you the same question in another job into you, you already know how to answer the question. So that's it for me. Hopefully this helps you also. If you work, if you work in a restaurant, you could definitely work IT. I done it. I'm I'm living proof that it's possible to work IT if you have restaurant experience. So this 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 video is specifically targeted to someone that's brand new or someone that is trying to break into IT, if you have uh, soft skills, uh, just in general soft skills. All right. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you have a good Saturday. Take care. Peace. Bye.